The time has come to upgrade the drivetrain on your budget or older mountain bike. The good news is that there's no shortage of options to choose from right now. The bad news is that the sheer number of options can be overwhelming for a lot of people. I recently tried two different setups on my Schwinn Axum Hardtail, and I've got enough rides on them now to give you some feedback on the Box 4 Shifter and Derailleur and the new MicroShift Advent X. So let's go. To give you some context, the Schwinn Axum came equipped with an off-brand 1x8 drivetrain with an 1140 cassette and a 30 tooth chainring up front. And to be fair, the stock drivetrain wasn't bad at all. In fact, the shifting was light and precise, but the biggest downside was that the derailleur didn't have a clutch. And if you're not familiar with clutches, think of it as nothing more than a chain tensioner designed to solve three main problems. First, it provides enough tension to keep the chain from falling off, which is really annoying. And secondly, it quiets the bike down considerably so it doesn't sound like it's falling apart underneath you. And third, it prevents the chain from physically damaging the chainstay from those repetitive hits. While there are some downsides to clutches, they're pretty much standard across the board on just about all aftermarket drivetrains these days. So for the Schwinn, I initially wanted to keep as many of the stock drivetrain components as I could. So I started searching for an 8-speed clutch rear derailleur and eventually came across this Box Components 4 series that's part of their new entry-level 8-speed group set. Now the entire group sells for $155, but for this project, I only picked up the $59 derailleur and the $30 shifter. For a $90 investment, this setup worked as advertised. Those frequent chain drops all but went away and the bike was a lot quieter on the downhills, making it sound more expensive. This setup also shifted well with the stock 8-speed cassette, which is almost identical in the range to the one that sold with the group set. Now given the high tolerances of an 8-speed setup, I guess that shouldn't sound too surprising. The Box 4 derailleur is nice and compact, and while I can't speak to its durability, it looks and feels like an MV Hummer. Now let's talk about what I didn't like, and as I mentioned earlier, the clutch on the Box 4 is strong maybe even too strong, and the tension is not adjustable. The biggest downside with clutches is that it increases the effort required to shift through the bigger gears, so light isn't exactly the word I'd describe shifting the box for. And also, there's significant free play in the lever, and while you're technically able to downshift three gears at once, you'll need some pretty long thumbs in order to do it. Complaints aside, I experienced no misshifts with the box four, and considering the minimal investment, I can't really complain. I would recommend this to anyone looking for a bolt-on replacement for their 8-speed setup and looking for something strong and durable. If you're looking to add more range than what's available with 8-speed setups, then you'll need to move up to something like this MicroShift Advent X drivetrain. Now, MicroShift is well known for delivering solid budget 8 and 9-speed drivetrain options, but the Advent X is their new wide-range 10-speed setup that definitely caught my eye. And when I reached out asking whether they can send me a media sample to try out, they said sure. In my opinion, what makes this drivetrain so unique is that 10 speed wide range 11 to 48 speed cassette. While it doesn't have the ultimate range of Eagle and Shimano's 12 speed, it's close enough for most people and when you factor in compatibility and price to weight ratio, it starts to make a compelling case. Let's start with compatibility and perhaps the most compelling feature is that it's designed to work with this. Behold, the Hyperglide, also known as the HG Freehub driver body, which is the standard back when we actually had standards. This means if you're upgrading your budget or older bike, chances are it has this driver body and the hub manufacturer doesn't even make an XD or micro spline adapter for the latest 12 speed stuff. And even if it did, it could add a significant expense to the drivetrain upgrade, making it cost prohibitive. When it comes to wide range HG compatible options, the Advent X really hits the sweet spot. I weighed the 1148 cassette at a lighter than claim 415 grams, which makes it one of the lightest wide range HG options available, which is mighty impressive considering it's a $65 cassette. That's nearly a quarter the price of some of the lightweight options out there, and it's even cheaper and lighter than the 12 speed SRAM GX and Shimano XT options. But how well do the rest of the components work? Well, I installed the Advent X drivetrain and I have about six rides on it so far, and I have to say I'm really impressed with its overall performance. The shifter is light and smooth and has a reassuring mechanical feel to it. The clutch mechanism on the derailleur is adjustable, but I found it just about perfect right out of the box.
The best way I can describe the shift feel is that it's closer to the feel of Shimano with more of a SRAM shift quality. So take that for what it's worth. The added range of the cassette is much appreciated for the trails that I ride, which usually average about 1,400 to 2,000 feet of climbing. Now, considering the entire cost of the drivetrain retails for $167 plus the cost of a chain, I think this is going to be a killer option for a lot of people. So what do I not like about the Advent X? And honestly, not a whole lot, especially for the price. If I'm being picky, I'd love for it to have some kind of matchmaker compatibility so I can bolt it on directly to a SRAM or Shimano brake. Also, the clutch mechanism has this really unique ratcheting system like a wheel hub. And I notice it takes a little bit of engagement to kick in when I move it with my hands. Now, I didn't notice anything unusual on the trail, so take that with a grain of salt. This wasn't meant to be a head-to-head -head comparison with the Box 4, but at roughly $33 more for the entire group, I'd definitely go with the Advent X, no question. The added range, better shift feel, and adjustable clutch are all worth it to me, especially when it comes with virtually no weight penalty. The only question is whether the long-term durability is there, and really only time will tell. I'll continue to put the miles on this drivetrain and report back in a long-term review. As you can probably tell by now, I'm genuinely impressed with how far budget drivetrains have come this year. And that begs the question, why would anyone spend four times more for a high-end system that does virtually the same thing? Well, that's going to be discussed in an upcoming video where we'll compare the Advent X head-to-head -head with the top-level Shimano drivetrain and break down some of the differences. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. In the meantime, remember, those trails don't get easier, you get better. We'll see you on the next one.